Hi team, let's assume that you have data organized in one column that you would like to see organized by line item and time period so that you can track it on a longitudinal basis and turn it into a cool chart. This is something I deal with a fair amount when I'm pulling data from a system to evaluate in Excel. In this instance, I have real estate price per square foot for two kingdoms, Arendelle and Asgard, and the state of New Mexico as well. To organize this information, we first need to create a unique lookup value for each entry. To do that, you would add a column, I already have one because I anticipated this need, and use the concat function to combine the location and the time period. Here we're using years, but this works for any date. Press Ctrl D to paste down. And with that done, we can move over to the array where we want to display this information by line item. Input the first line item, and then insert the following formula. Using XLOOKUP, input the same unique lookup value by selecting the line item and press F4 to fix the column and the time period, and this time anchoring the row with F4. Close paren, comma, and next we have our lookup array. So here we're using our new column, select it all, press F4, and finally the return array, which is price per square foot, Again, press F4 to anchor all values. And XLOOKUP provides a unique optional field, if not found. If the data is not available, let's have the formula return NA for not available. Close paren and press Enter. And then we'll paste this across with Control R and then paste it down for the next two line items with Control D. And now we can see that Arendelle has benefited from two huge jumps in value, which makes sense because the kingdom's real estate value is tied to Walt Disney merchandise sales. And when the documentary released with the story explaining how a princess came to be friends with a moose, they managed to sell 3 million frozen dresses in North America by the following year, which per an article in the New York Times was equivalent to the number of four-year-old girls in North America. Now, the great thing about this formula is that it reads the line item. So if we input Asgard and follow up with New Mexico, we see that this data is also displayed in a convenient format. And here the story is a little more obvious. We don't have price per square foot for Asgard in the latter half of this chart because Asgard was destroyed in 2017 by a huge fire monster. Thor had to bring everyone to Earth and went to New Mexico because that's where he met Natalie Portman. And all the gods from Asgard just thought New Mexico was chill enough and didn't feel the need to explore different locations. Probably because they're all huge Breaking Bad fans. Alright team, that's all for now.